Hey guys, it's Betty from BakerBetty.com and welcome back to another video. Today's video is made in partnership with Nielsen Massey Vanillas and I have a really fun tutorial showing you how to make a decorated cream tart. Now these tarts have become really popular recently because they are so versatile to celebrate any occasion. You can make letters or numbers or really any shape you like. Baking has become a common way to relax and elevate happiness, but before you can truly enjoy the mindful benefits of baking, it is important to master the basics. This is why I'm excited to be partnering on this tutorial with Nielsen Massey Vanillas on their new campaign called Better Your Bake. Better Your Bake is designed to help you master the basics of baking so that you can achieve those mindful benefits. Nielsen Massey Vanillas is unveiling videos that focus on key baking techniques in a six-part series on betteryourbake.com. Each technique will include a step-by-step -step video, pro tips from their team, and delicious seasonal recipes. Check out the description for a link to the website and follow along. Today we are going to be using several of those baking tips so that you can master this cream tart and use them in your everyday baking. Now, as always, you can find the full details for this recipe and the products that I used in the written post linked in the description. Let's go ahead and dive in. So let's start by separating some eggs. Starting with clean hands, hold the egg in your dominant hand and lightly tap it on a clean flat surface. Now pry half of the eggshell off, keeping the egg in the other half of the shell. Hold your hand over one bowl and pour the egg into it, letting the whites fall between your fingers and keeping the yolk in your hand. Place the yolk into a separate bowl. Set those egg whites aside for later and now let's mix our tart dough. In our mixing bowl, we have our softened butter and sugar, and we're going to cream that together until really light and fluffy. Now to that, we're going to add some of the Nielsen Massey Madagascar Bourbon Pure Vanilla Extract, which is a really beautiful all-purpose vanilla extract, along with our egg yolks. And we're going to mix all of that together until it is well combined. And lastly, let's add our flour and salt into the bowl and give that a mix until it comes together into a cohesive dough. Now we're going to roll out our dough. I'm going to divide the dough into roughly four equal parts and I'm going to work with one part at a time. To make this process less messy, we are going to use two pieces of parchment paper to roll our dough out. So place one piece of dough between the two pieces of parchment paper and starting from the center of the dough with your rolling pin, roll away from your body. Rotate the dough 90 degrees every once in a while to help with rolling it out evenly. Once our dough is evenly rolled out to about a fourth inch thick, we can transfer it to the refrigerator to firm up for about 20 minutes. Now you can use any shape, letter, or number for your tarts, but whatever you choose, you do want to make two layers for each tart. I am going to cut out the letters NM for Nielsen Massey, so I printed the letters and cut them out to make our templates. Lay your template over your chilled dough and use a knife to trace the shape. Bake the tart shapes until the edges just start browning and the middles are set. Allow to cool completely on the baking sheet. Now while our tart shapes are cooling, we can prepare our Swiss meringue buttercream. So place those egg whites that we saved into a metal or glass mixing bowl along with the granulated sugar, and we are going to whisk those together. To properly whisk, tilt the bowl towards you and rapidly jolt the whisk from side to side rather than in a circle. This will create the most sheer force which will allow the ingredients to fully mix. Now we're going to place this bowl over a double boiler and whisk until our thermometer reads 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the mixture reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, you can pour the mixture into the bowl of your stand mixer fit with the whisk attachment and whip until stiff peaks form and the mixture cools down to room temperature.
Next, we're going to add a pinch of salt and our butter one tablespoon at a time until it is all incorporated. And lastly, I'm going to add some of the Nielsen Massey Madagascar Bourbon Pure Vanilla Bean Paste, which will give us that beautiful visual of vanilla bean specks in our buttercream. If you do not have a pastry bag on hand, you can use a resealable plastic bag as your pastry bag. Cut a curved line out of one of the corners of the bag to imitate a round tip and place it in a tall glass cup, folding the sides of the bag down around the glass. Now fill the bag about two thirds full with your frosting. Unfold the top and squeeze the frosting towards the tip. Twist the top of the bag to close, and now we can begin decorating our tarts. To decorate the tarts, pipe dollops of frosting all around the border of the bottom layer and then fill in the entire layer with more dollops. To create dollops, hover the bag directly over your tart and give even pressure and release as you pull up on the bag. Gently set your second layer over the bottom layer and repeat with dollops of frosting to cover the entire top of the tart. Now you can finish decorating your tart with all kinds of things. I'm going to add some macarons and fresh berries along with some edible fresh flowers. You can add virtually anything you want to decorate, but my tip to decorating the tart is to start with your largest items first and then fill in with all of your smaller items. I love to keep it fairly simple and leave a lot of that beautiful white frosting peeking out the bottom. And there you have it, a beautifully decorated cream tart, perfect for any celebration. I wanna thank Nielsen Massey Vanillas for partnering with me on this video to highlight basic baking tips from the Better Your Bake campaign and head on over to betteryourbake.com to follow along with more baking tips and how you can better your bake. And make sure you share your creations on social, tagging at Nielsen Massey and hashtag betteryourbake. I'll see you guys next time with another baking tutorial.